Have you ever seen this before? This is actually Lego, somehow. And the reason why you have never seen it is because Lego has banned this set never to be sold again. They have hidden this set along with many others in their secret vault of cursed sets that will never see the light of day until today. Because I have scoured the dark web to find these sets and I will be testing them all to see if they have a chance to come back to the shelves or if they should just rot away in the vault where they belong. <laughs> Set number one, Percy Pig's Wheelbarrow. Set release, May 1981. Banned, 1993. Oh, that's the Lego set. Let me go get it. Oh, hello. My name is Tom. Thank you for ordering from notalegoscam.com. I have your package. This is our first band Lego set. Bacon. You didn't have to cut me off. I ripped it open and poured it out. This is Percy Pig's wheelbarrow set. It has this quite interesting looking pig figurine thing. Now each set we're gonna rate up to five stars. And we have three criteria on how we're gonna rate these sets. Starting off with play features. I'm gonna say this set doesn't have quite a lot of play features. It's kind of boring. I guess the figure could be kind of fun, but it's gonna be rated kind of low for not having many play features. The second part of the rating system is the original pricing. And when this set first came out, it was only $3.95, which I think that's actually a really good deal for this set. Like blind bag minifigures now are like five bucks. And our final part to the rating system is overall how cursed it is. And yeah, I would say this piggy figure is pretty cursed. It reminds me of the Roblox game Piggy. So overall, I'll give the Percy Pig's wheelbarrow set a 2 out of 5 stars. Band set number 2. Jeffrey Polybag. Set release, July 2013. Band, September 2013. Oh, yo, dude, thank you for ordering off of Toys R Us. Any of the packages damaged due to shipping is not on us. And uh, no, my name is not Tom. My name is Todd, actually. So here you go. So long. This next set is Jeffrey the Giraffe Polybag. And as you may know, Toys R Us has been shut down, so I thought this was the perfect set to buy. I ripped it open, poured it out, and begun building. And this is the Jeffrey the Giraffe Polybag set. And oh my goodness, this thing is staring into my soul. I have no idea why the eyes are so scary looking. And the scariest part of the set is not the eyes. It's that the entire set is just its head. So the rest of his body was cut off for some reason. Like who would want this near their bed? I for sure would not. But I would want to put it next to my brother. So for play features, this set really has nothing. Now for original pricing, it was actually a free promotional at Toys R Us. So you could buy some Lego sets and get it for free. Or some Toys R Us stores were selling it for five bucks. And overall how cursed it is, need I say more? So overall, I'm gonna give the Jeffrey the Draft Holly Bag a one out of five stars. Now here's the fun part. Any set that gets one or less stars gets the drop test. <laughs> Set number three, Lego Family. Set release, 1974. Band, unknown. Hello, I'm a scientist from the other side of the world, from New Mexico. I'm really proud that you, you chose us for your shipment. So we have this amazing package for you. Thank you for spending $200 on shipment. Alright, let's get this package open. Oh wow, that is really old. In fact, this set came out before the very first minifigures, like these ones. I dumped the set out, played with bubble wrap for a bit, and then got straight to building. This set comes with a little boy, a little girl, a mom, a dad, and a grandma. And for some reason, this one looks like the Lemonhead mascot. You never know, it could be just a coincidence. Or is it? Now it's time to start rating this set. Starting off with play features. Really just the arms of the figures can move. Not really anything else. So it doesn't have a ton of play features. Next is original pricing. And this entire set was only five bucks. So I would say that's pretty good for this set. And finally, overall how cursed it is, I don't think they're that bad unless you take off their hair. Then it gets a little scary. So I'm I'm going to rate this set 3 out of 5 stars. Band set number 4. 
Galador, Nick, and Nepal. Set release, 2002. Band, also unknown. Yo, what's up, brother? Dab me up. Yeah, thank you for ordering from, I don't know what the company name is. We are so glad that you ordered with us. I have nothing else to say. The next two sets are actually from McDonald's. So let's rip both of them open. I built the first figure up whose name is Nick and oh my goodness, what is this thing? Like just his head alone is so creepy. I'm gonna put him to the side and build the next figure named Nepal and it's just as weird. I'm rating these things a 0.5 stars. So that means it's time for another drop test. <laughs> Set number five, blue hockey player. Wait, he's already here. I didn't even get to finish this. Yo, this is a package. And for the last 30 days, I've been traveling across America just to deliver. You're not Mr. Beast. The next set is another McDonald's set, so I don't have high hopes for this. I opened it up and built up this hockey player. And this is the McDonald's hockey set all complete. And the face is kind of interesting. But we're not going to fully judge it yet until we start testing out play features. It seems like you push down the head of the hockey player to launch the hockey puck. And it actually goes decently far. It also came with a net so you could try to score a goal. So surprisingly, it's actually pretty fun. Now, original pricing, it was three in a McDonald's Happy Meal. And overall, how cursed it is, I do think the face is a little weird looking. But honestly, I don't think it's that bad. So for the rating of this set, I'm going to give it a 3.5 star. Band set number six. Orient Expedition Yeti's Hideout. He's here already again? Bruh. Rawr. I opened our next band set and got straight to building. Now this is the Yeti's hideout set. This set includes a hiker and a small build. But if you pull out this part of the set, it reveals a gem. But it also opens the cave, revealing this very interesting looking Yeti. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this guy. I mean, look at this goofy boy. All right, now starting on play features of this set. This set really only has a play feature of opening up the cave, and that's really about it. Then original pricing, and it was actually pretty good for only 10 bucks. And finally, overall how cursed it is, really the only thing is the Yeti. He's kind of goofy looking. So I'll give the the Yeti hideout set a three star. Band set number seven. Little Forest Friends Supper Time. Why is he here already? Hello there, I'm the real Mr. Beast. Thank you for ordering me Lego set. You can get my amazing merch at shopamymerch.com. This next set is pretty small, so I opened it up and started building it. And like, what is this set? First of all, what is this guy? This guy looks so weird looking and oh my goodness. This thing gets zero stars. Get this out of here. Who designed this thing? Band set number eight. Joker. Oh my goodness. Can you please stop interrupting? Spider Man. This is everything that comes in this Joker Land set. So let's get straight to building. Welcome to Joker Land. There are many different reasons on why this set was banned. But the real reason why this set was banned is because of this one piece. The Super Jumper. Now the way LEGO intended on using it, you would attach a minifigure onto it, and you could launch the minifigure at random things. Now the problem with it is over time, it would damage the minifigure's legs. So if you have this piece, try not using it. So starting off with play features, it's got a lot of them. Now there's some other creepy and dark things about this set. And to be clear, this set is for ages 8 and up. Like for example, this tightrope that takes a minifigure all the way down it, hanging upside down right into fire. Now for original pricing, this set was $120. And then overall how cursed it is, the Joker face is pretty creepy. But not gonna lie, I think it's kind of funny. So I'm gonna rate the Joker Land set four stars. Band set number- Alright, here we go again. Hello? Oh, it's Buzz Lightyear. Thank you. I got this Lego Buzz Lightyear buildable figure. So I opened it and you know the drill. Let's build it. This is the Buzz Lightyear set. It does come with an alien minifigure, which I think is pretty cool. And then Buzz Lightyear himself. And honestly, I think this set's pretty cool. So the play features on this set, it's pretty much an action figure. So whatever an action figure does. He has a laser on his arm. His legs can move. He breaks apart really easily. Now for original pricing, it's not bad for 25 bucks. And finally, overall how cursed it is, I don't think it's cursed whatsoever. Unless you take off Buzz Lightyear's head and just hold it. Then it gets a little weird. So I'm gonna give the Buzz Lightyear set a four out of five stars. He's already 
here. I haven't even gotten to the band part yet. Welcome to the future. This set's called Tiny's Day and Night Lever. So after building it up, here it is. And it's a little underwhelming. The play features of this set is barely anything. Literally the only thing you're really able to do is pull this day and night lever. And that's about it. The original pricing of this set is five bucks. And overall cursed it is, this guy is a little weird, but I guess he's fine. I don't even care, give this thing a one star. It's time for another drop test. Yep, I didn't even get to finish this. All right, here we go. This set is Lego Ninjago, the board game. Had to do my cool game show voice. I opened it up and you could probably guess I didn't build it. I'm joking, I did. Here's the set all complete. It comes with mini versions of all the original ninjas and sensei Wu and some skeleton warriors. Now to start off with play features, it's got a ton because duh, it's a board game. It comes with a buildable dice you roll to move your ninja and you go around to collect golden weapons or you'll have to fight skeleton warriors. So it's honestly really fun to play with. Now for original pricing, it was $25, which I think is fine. And finally, overall curse of this, there's nothing really cursed about this set whatsoever. So I'm gonna give this Lego set our first five stars. Band set number 12. Build a Bob. What is this music? Hello? Who turned on this music? Is this the delivery man doing this? Oh, he's here. What a coincidence. Sharky. Now, this next set is kind of weird. It's a giant buildable SpongeBob. So let's get right to it. Approximately 10 hours later. And here's the Lego Build a SpongeBob. Why did Lego make this? I have no idea. Now, one reason why this set was definitely banned is because they put stickers over multiple pieces. Aye, aye. And if you turn SpongeBob around, this set has a hole inside. I didn't know he was some type of robot thing. Now, for play features, it doesn't got quite a lot other than you can spin the eyes very weirdly. And also, his mouth opens to reveal a catapult that launches jellyfish. Now, for original pricing, it's actually really good for 30 bucks and then finally overall how cursed it is i really don't think i need to explain anything else i'll give the build a spongebob a 2.5 stars band set number 13 belleville sunshine home set release december 2007 band november 2010 wow i actually got to finish it that time sir every package tell no one or airstrikes will be launched. What? I opened up the Belleville set and quickly speed built it. And this is the Belleville Sunshine Home. It looks a lot like Barbie, but in Lego. And the figurines in this set are super cursed looking. This is how tall he is compared to a normal minifigure. And the scariest thing about this set is the baby. I feel like I'm gonna have nightmares while I'm sleeping. I don't care about anything else in this set. I'm giving this thing a one star because of this baby. Time to drop test this Barbie house. Band set number 14. Tiny and friends. Oh, he's knocking this time. If I open up, you didn't pay for shipping, bozo. Now I've got the final set, the one you've all been waiting for. Little robot. Let's just get straight into this. And this set has a lot of weird random things in it. It has that blue robot from earlier, this really creepy red robot, a yellow robot dog that bobbles its head around, and then the very creepy purple robot thing. Like, why would LEGO make this? This set's getting a one star. So now it's time for the final drop test. Now, after all the drop tests, this is all the destruction. So I cleaned it up and put it in this box. Oh, hi, my name is Tom. I've been waiting here because you still haven't paid for shipment. Uh, I have a return. Can you take this? Sir, we don't accept returns. Yes, you do. Take it. Fine. 